Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to tell you who I think are the most powerful witches in the Vampire Diary universe, in order. <music> to give a disclaimer before we get into the topic, because you know, those are kind of my thing now, but it's that some of you guys are most definitely going to disagree with me, but hopefully by the end of this video, you guys will see where I'm coming from. I guess I'll work backwards in this video, but in my opinion, the strongest witch in TVD history is Katsia. I chose Katsia because since the 1st century BC to Legacies, no one has been able to do what she has accomplished. Katsia was the only one able to create a true immortal and create a cure for said immortality. She then created a spirit world for all supernaturals that lasted for centuries and it covered the entire earth. We were then shown on multiple occasions that she can manipulate people's memories and dreams she was even able to resurrect herself. And as we all know, resurrections are not easy in Vampire Diaries. And you wanna know the most impressive part about all of that? She was using traditional magic, arguably the weakest form of magic because of its many rules and regulations. So for her to be using the weakest magic and breaking the biggest rules of nature is very impressive. Next up is Bonnie. Now Bonnie has a long list of powerful moments, so I'm going to try and list the most important ones to show you why she's number two. First off, she is known to have used almost every form of magic there is. Bonnie is the only witch in the world who can simultaneously use her psychic and magical abilities. She then with her psychic powers was able to create an afterlife dimension to house her dead boyfriend's soul. She also went toe to toe with the devil for Damon's soul and she was fairly holding her own. Another thing I want to bring up is when she tapped into the power of expression. She was able to shake the very balance between life and death. She is one of the very few witches we saw rapidly heal themselves, and expression allowed Bonnie to use spells easier without the need of saying them. She was even able to take down one of the originals while breaking most of the bones in his body. And to end her section off, when Damon's soul was trapped in a phoenix stone, she alone was able to get him out while it took three heretics to get one out. And if you don't know, Heretics are really powerful, and if you want to learn more about them, don't be shy to ask me to make a video. I don't mind. But finally, she throughout the entirety of TVD has casted more than three resurrection spells, and as I stated before, resurrections are one of the hardest things to do. Bonnie Bennett will go down as one of the best, if not the best. She's really up there. I myself would put her up there with Willow Rosenberg. Now would be a good time to explain why I put Katia and Bonnie up top and some people's other choices like the Hollow, but I put them up top because the two other witches after them have been modified in some way. Like the Hollow, her magic isn't technically all hers. Her tribe gave her that power and inadvertently created a monster. And with Dahlia, she put herself under that pseudo-immortality spell, which greatly increased her power. But with Bonnie and Tessa, it was all natural, if that makes any sense. I don't think it really does. Third is up, and we have Inadu. Now we all know how powerful Inadu is. She's actually the most powerful switch to appear in the originals. Yes, even Hope, and I know, unpopular opinion. But here are some moments that explains why. First off, she has an immortal soul, which means even when she dies, her spirit is still tied to the physical plane and that allows her to possess anyone of her liking. And when she possesses someone, she's allowed to keep her magical abilities while still being able to use the host abilities as well. Awesome. Next, she was able to take down an upgraded original vampire by turning her blood to acid, then screaming a telekinetic blast to send him back. And in a previous encounter, she was shown desiccating him very easily. We were then shown that Anato is very proficient with the act of illusions. They were really good. Spider-Man Far From Home good. And the last two are the real cream of the crop. She created her own style of magic that was so powerful, she resurrected someone like it was nothing. And lastly, she created the whole entire werewolf line. She's the originator of the werewolf curse. It was really amazing to watch. Now we have Dahlia, the best villain the originals had. She really showed us what power looks like. We first get a sense of her power when she was able to make her infertile sister Esther fertile. Then we were shown her vast knowledge of magic, 
as she was able to create her own connective magic, which amplified her magic enough to destroy an entire village. However, the fun didn't start until she created the Immortal Slumber Spell, which placed her into a deep sleep for a century, and for a year, she would wake with immense power. And one huge thing she was able to do was lend a large group of humans some of her magic. Next, she was able to invade people's minds and speak through them. She called it Kenning. Then in the same scene, she froze the localized area. Then when up against Klaus and Michael, she was able to desiccate them quite easily with a flick of her wrist. Dolly is also one of two witches we saw that can actually teleport, which I think is an amazing skill to possess. She was then shown to have amazing healing abilities, as we seen when she healed Josephine Hands. And lastly, she was able to destroy the indestructible White Oak State. Okay, yeah, that's my list. And I know some of you guys are going to be like, wait, where's Esther? And I'm not going to lie, I'm a very biased person, and I don't like Esther. And the only great feat I recognize with Esther is her creating the first vampires. Good job. But yeah, tell me in the comments below who are your most strongest witches in the TVD universe, and what order.